Good morning, dear students. Welcome to this learning session. My name is Teujen. I'm going to teach you English as usual. Last time we talked about passive voice and active voice. You get me? In passive voice, we saw different tenses. We talked about present continuous tense. Listen, we talked about present, uh, I mean present continuous tense. How to change from active to passive. Then we said, the general for passive voice, we use verb to be, then we add the past participle of the given verb. Meaning this verb to be, it is the one which is conjugated in the tense given in active voice, then you add the past participle of the given verb. For example, I can say, Tom is playing football. Football is being played by Tom. So let's continue. Our today's concern is all about Passive voice in the present perfect tense. Passive voice in the present perfect tense. But before proceeding to this topic, we know there is a password. You know, we always start with a new password. Our password today is this one here. Practice makes perfect. Once you practice more, you will get more, you, you will be more knowledgeable. Get me? So when we practice something, you will get used with it so that we can know something about it. So even you at home, you have to take exercise books and you keep just doing exercises. Thank you very much. This is our password today. So let's continue. We are going to see present perfect, but passive voice in the present perfect tense. In the present perfect tense. Let's continue. We are going to talk about passive voice, passive voice. In present perfect tense. General is given like this one here. We use has or have. We add been. Then we add the past participle of the given of the given verb. For example, I can say theta has has taken my book. Has taken my book let's just unwrite this sentence we have this subject theta it can be replaced by the personal pronoun she then we say this is verb to take in the present perfect tense then this is the object this is the object you know in the passive voice the object becomes the subject we shall take this object becomes the subject then the subject becomes the object but the verb stays in the middle. Then we shall say, my book, remember you have to start the sentence with a capital letter. Don't forget to start the sentence with a capital letter. Then we say, my book, my book has been taken by, by Teta. But if they have said she, we shall just remove them and say it has been taken by her. Is it clear? Then we just continue by saying, my book has been taken by Teta. Is it clear? So we shall say, this is present perfect tense. This is present perfect tense. We shall take this verb to be, we change into present perfect tense. Then you add the past participle of the given verb. Verb given here is verb to take. Verb to, to take. Then we shall say, my book has been taken by Teta. This is the general for passive voice in the present perfect tense. You only mind about the verb given there, the tense given in active voice. Then you change the verb to be according to the tense given in active voice. Another example I can say, Tom has beaten me. This is the subject. This is the verb given, this is the object. 
then the object will become the subject, then the subject will become the object. Then we say, I have been, I have been beaten by Tom. You get me? This is how we just change from active to passive. The general is this one, use verb to have, then you add been, then you add the past part for the given verb. Thank you very much. We shall continue next time. See you next time.